you see it, man. All right. Well, good morning, folks. Well, your favorite ugly man, bright and back down in the workshop today. I know you're all going to say I'm a bit crazy. After the last video I did with the kayak and the modifications I did, I haven't been fishing yet. It hasn't touched the water yet. But I was struck by another round of inspiration. So I decided to experiment a little bit with some stuff I had down in the workshop here. Um, truth be told, I didn't think it was actually going to work. But I ended up making a fiberglass pontoon. I used some old sign pieces, some old plastic PVC signs, and I made this mold, layer it with some fiberglass, and I pulled it out, and remarkably it was, it was simple. It was, it came out okay. It have a few imperfections, a few little rough spots that I need to attend to, but for just straight out the mold, I was happy with it. So I thought I would give you all a look at the, the mold and how I put it together, and you know, what we do down in the workshop. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna give you all a look at the mole and the pontoon. Hold on. All right, so guys, here is the mold. It's just a wooden frame. But this is the old sign material I told you all about, the PVC material. And that's the pontoon that I molded from it. As I said, it's still really rough. I still have some work to do on it. Some fixing and repairs. But I thought this mold worked really well, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. Let's see for the corner here, where it's joined. I have just just thin strip on the inside and in these corners I used the sum of pieces of 90 degree PVC oh yes all right guys so let me take apart the mold and give you all a look. As I said, it had these two 90 degree corner pieces. The back, which just this triangle piece. Little strips in the middle. And then, yes. You see, it's just two flat pieces, and I wired it along the seam in a few key spots. And then you put it in the frame and you open it. And ta-da, pontoon shape. So yeah. And obviously I still have a lot more work to do on it. I still have to do the other pontoon and my neatening up and fixing up but i think as far as experiments go i call on this one a success the main reason for doing this experiment was to see if i could use this method to mold two eight foot long pontoons to replace the barrels on the barrel boat and well it worked well i guess it's possible as a project for another day as always I hope all you enjoy the video. All you keep good, all you stay blessed. Keep your head down, keep your powder dry, and always remember, folks, be it with soup. Later. I am in the mood for love, cause I'm the feeling.